Hello everybody and welcome back to some Nuclear Throne Ultra. We are jumping in again and this time we are going to jump in as Skeleton, I think. I do like Skeleton even though he is slower. And we do get to start with a crown as this guy. Um, and I said in the last episode that I want to start using the crown where we take double damage, but we increase the value for radiation. I think that's a really good one. Um, as this character, maybe not, because I think that means we can one-shot die. Um, <laughs> I didn't think about the fact that this guy starts with lower HP, but... Uh, Whatever. I just want to see, does my blood gamble do double damage as well? It does not. Good. Blood gamble does not deal double damage. Jaw split. Oh, do we have any gold weapons as, as this guy? I don't know if we do. Either way, yeah, double double radiation off the bat is, is a really good way to play the game, I think. Trigger finger seems fun. We want to get more HP as soon as we possibly can, though, as this guy. So, Blood Gamble, not really something I'm going to use too much early, but if we have a weapon that is sort of more compatible with Blood Gamble, then we'll use it. Essentially, we can trade a chance to lose HP for a free shot. Okay, we've run out of ammo very quickly there. Oh my lord. This thing's incredible. I love it. Can I get the burst modifier with this thing, please? Uh. Oh. What? I didn't really see that guy. Okay, we do have some gold weapons. We just got unlucky last time. Unfortunately, we do have police on us constantly because we've got a crown off the bat. Which isn't ideal. And we are indeed... One bullet away from death. We're basically playing melting with less bonuses. Which seems sketchy, but I'm just going to roll with it. Yeah, the, the amount of rads we're getting early on is beautiful. Throw him, but um, better gambling odds is just really good for later down the line. While it's not useful right now, I will use it on occasion with certain weaponry. There's our HP. We need more HP drops as well, definitely. And assault pistol. Eh. We don't need that. Replace two HP with one armor. Whenever you are missing armor, extra reload speed, and we have a very small chance to drop armor. Let's try that. This seems very, very sketchy. But armor negates a full hit of damage, and basically it puts our HP at what it was anyways. It's effectively the exact same. In fact, we can survive one additional hit with this, because double damage plus armor doesn't... Like, we can't deal take double armor damage, can we? We really have one piece of armor. Can you guys stop with the, your purple shots, please? Thank you. Yeah, getting up to level 4 already is, is pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Um, I'm going to go with this because we have IDPD in. Um, having them spawn in Sleepy seems super useful. That was very close. I lost my armor. God damn it. I do gain um, increased reload when I've got no armor, though, so... That's a bonus, at least. It's a pretty hefty boost to our reload, actually. That plus trigger fingers is pretty nice. Got lots of the big crocodile boys here, which is not great. A little sketch about these guys. God damn it. Okay. Skeleton, I'm still going to keep playing you. Um, just a minute. Right. How do we go back? Yeah. Stop with this. Right. Me not melting. Where are you? Skeleton. There you go. Right. What, what golden weapons do you actually have? Golden bazooka. Golden kraken pistol. Golden morpho gun. You have quite a lot to choose from, to be fair. Yeah, let's keep it on random for now. And we'll, we'll keep it on the crown. Uh, I, I still want to... Even though this is super risky, I still want to go for this. I love the fact that it turns them into golden sheep. That's like the best thing ever. 
I wish the sheep did things though, but eh. They're just here being golden sheep. You know how it be. I mean, look at them. Grazing away. We got some sort of thingy weapon here. Um, better odds. Tough shell probably helps here. Mini lightning pistol probably don't want that. <laughs> My God. I wonder, can, do the sheep, like, block shots for us or stuff, maybe? Potentially. Also, it looks like I could shoot over walls, then. The range on this thing's amazing. If I could not die here, that'd be great. A tough shell also actually, um, gives us something quite nice. Plus one HP. That's a survive shot, so that, that's always going to be something we want to take. Oh, my God. Okay, the sheep do actually absorb shots, so uh, they have that benefit. Making it explosive as well. Don't know how valuable that is. I think that is going to, for the most part, kill the sheep instantly, which seems a little cruel. But it's done now. What's done is done. This is some wacky shit. I'm going to take that again, and I'm going to take that. Oh my god, we got so many levels there. Um, minus one max HP. We've got three out of two right now. A little confused about that. This is a weird run. That killed him way quicker than it should have. My goodness. Way quicker than it should have. Projectile speed, I don't think does literally anything for this weapon, but... This thing's pretty good also. I just got hit there in a very, very stupid way. Hey, that's some ammo though. Got armor back pretty much straight away, which is very, very good. That's not it. This is an amazing weapon to start out with. I'm seeing you over there. Don't run away. I will I will sheepify you like the rest of them. Do not fret. And then we can take Rhino skin to give ourselves a bit more safety. I'm feeling good. Still on 7 out of 6 HP. I've overhealed at some point and I don't know how. God damn, it just annihilates everything. It's so easy to use as well. Like, you can kind of sweep it over enemies. Beautiful. We're still taking double damage at the minute, so we've got to be careful of that. We want to make sure that we don't uh, take too much double damage. And trade back to our regular self at the appropriate time. Get rid of our crown slash trade it for a different crown at the appropriate time. Which I don't think is yet. I think we've we've got we've got time. We've got rads to gain. I'm liking having explosive on this thing as well. Yeah, yeah, get out of here. Right, um, Close the crown vault. I kind of didn't mean to do that in terms of closing it like that. I thought that I'd just close it in terms of, like, giving us the rads and opening the next stage, but it doesn't. Um, metabolism for the extra third shot thing going on. Yeah, don't you be sealing my ammo, please. We are already level 7. This is what I mean by the double rads thing being a pretty good strategy. We can get up to ultra way faster if we are, if we're willing, literally twice as fast, if we're willing to take on a bit of risk. And it is quite a bit of risk, mind you, but I think it's the certain perks and stuff that let us set up for this in a pretty good way. 
Now, I don't know how well this will fare against him. It doesn't seem like a good boss weapon, really. He could not stand right on top of me. That would be dandy. Level 8 already. Oh, I got rid of my armor. Hey, yay, yay, yay. He took way too many hits to die. Okay, now we're in... We're in the phase of it not being great for us right now. Rabbit's paw is going to be good here. This stage I'm not particularly happy with. This could be a bit horrible. If we can find enemies, that is. So far, we have not found a single one. That's the thing as well. It keeps shooting over enemies from time to time, which is not ideal. That's it. There was like five enemies on this stage total. We do get that extra fire rate bonus when we're uh, without shields, which is nice. You can clearly see that in uh, taking effect at the moment. I was hoping for level 9 on this stage, but I'll accept where I am. There's armor. Lovely. Early armor is good. Just don't lose it too early is the only thing. Try and keep it. Yeah, I keep shooting over enemies. That's that's really annoying. I can't believe this thing's so strong, so I've not even picked up another weapon yet. I would have if I needed to, but... Really, it's all, this game is more, more about skill than it is about weaponry, I think. I mean, this weapon is just good, but... The weapon isn't actually that important. Unfortunately, you're a bit bit of an annoying enemy to kill, because I'm going to have to go all the way around to get you. There's two of you, okay. That doesn't feel so bad. If it was one enemy, I'd be a bit more annoyed. And last few down here, or last one down here, even. Last few, last few. Kraken gun, I will take a Kraken gun any day of the week. Not quite the extravaganza that you get with a Kraken launcher. And ga gaining armor is like protection, but we do lose that massive fire rate bonus, which is a bit sad. Oh god. Did he take my armor? Yes, he did. Okay, so we got the fire rate bonus back at least now, which makes the Kraken gun significantly better. Wow. And I think we're about ready to relinquish our uh, taking double damage thing now. More armor there. No, I got it. Okay, good. Can I hit this guy, please? There you go. Walk into it. It's easier. Yeah, I think we're ready to relinquish control of our crown now to something different. Uh, trigger fingers, why not? And when the Kraken gun just decides not to shoot at the thing you're shooting at, it can be very annoying. There you go. Right, so... Now we can take no crown. Let's do that. Like, remove our crown completely. And now we're at this stage... Nearly, li nearly max level, nearly ultra, very early, and we're back to, not survival completely, but de definitely back to safety at least. I think I'm at the point now though where I could do with weapon upgrading. I've run out of ammo on my other one. And this one's, it's good, but the, the, the way it fires is definitely catching me out a little bit in terms of the distancing. HP there, mini plasma rifle. Yeah, I'll take that over the Kraken gun. Where's our last enemy? Didn't, didn't quite get level 10 on the stage, but I wasn't really expecting to. My god, you are far. Yeah, this, this thing's pretty good. 
Still haven't found anything that makes Blood Gamble worth it yet. That was a really bad hit there. Oh my god. Negated that hit, luckily. All these flying boys. Oh my lord. I got my ultra. And I'm about to die. Ah oh no, it just got a bunch of HP, lovely. Don't remember what the ultra does for this guy. We will find out quickly enough if we make it through this stage, which I'm sure we will. Toxic crossbow, dude, that is a very low tier gun to be giving me this late into the game. Come on now. Even you've got to know that's stupid. Okay. Right, Ultra, what are you? We've got rerolls all your mutations, um, get patience as an extra choice every time. When you loop, um, you gain an Ultra again. Normal movement, normal accuracy. That sounds interesting because we are about to loop. Failed blood gambles will cost five times ammo instead of health. If ammo is negative, it will cost health again. Blood gambles can be used while reloading. Immune while stationary. Successful blood gambles makes you immune for a short duration. Failed blood gambles creates a blood explosion and gives three lives. So let's try this. Oh, what's this? Um, the crown gets a laser pistol and fights with you. Um, constant ion strikes rain down upon you. That's definitely new. Also, is this new? Start in the sewers. What? How would that work? That's definitely new, right? I'm, I'm not going to take anything for now, but that's definitely new. Uh, right, okay. Rabbit paw. Um, trigger fingers. Tough shell. Um, static fists, maybe. Last wish. Scarier face. Bloodlust. Rhino skin. Bit of a weird one. Still having weapon problems, I think. Like, it's fine. It's still doing good damage, but... Not quite where we want it to be. Especially for bosses. This guy's gonna be a real pain. I'm dead. I'm so dead. How am I not dead yet? My god. I feel like I've done barely any damage to this guy and got hit about a billion times. Weapon's working out though. Ish. Yeah, it's not the best. It's, it's working ish. Okay, it's not there. Where the fuck the hell is he? There you go. Definitely still need better weapons. There's so mu many enemies that I didn't kill. Oh, that was a, that was a sheep. I apologize, sheep. I didn't mean to get you there. Yeah, this is just not good. This thing's pretty decent, but it's, it's slow projectile speed makes it kind of hard to use. And it's also ammo consumption is ludicrously high. We are going to run out of ammo with this thing before we manage to kill everything on the stage easily. We already have, and we've probably got a few more bears around. Oh, we've got so many more enemies to go yet. We've, we're very low on ammo. That chest is right in the fucking... That, that's kind of bullshit, I'll be honest. That chest is right in the way. Well, I'm all out of ammo now, so I basically have to blood gamble. Yeah, I killed myself. There's some bullshit. There's some bullshit. There's character. Oh my god. Anger. 
<sighs> God damn it. Whenever you run out of ammo, your crown summons... What does it mean by a tiny kraken? Well, we'll never know. Skeleton, come back to me. A tiny kraken. I want to know what that means. I kind of don't want ammo so I can run out and find out what the hell that's talking about. Right. Let's spam our ammo, spam her, and see what a tiny kraken means. Because I'm unsure, and I would like to know. It is literally a little dude. It's a little guy. How often is that going to happen, though, right? I don't know, I'm, I'm not really feeling this guy right now. How long does my tiny kraken last? I mean, they're kind of amazing, but they seem, they seem like they can die. I kind of think I see the idea now. So, I basically keep getting ammo and then losing it to run out of ammo. Oh, but that's annoying. I can't fully run out of ammo with that thing. I'm intrigued by this setup. The tiny Kraken setup. I think I like it. I think I like it. Just keep firing. And eventually we'll spawn a tiny Kraken that'll do some good for us. Then we get more ammo for this thing. And then we come over here. And we run out of ammo again on purpose. And it spawns another tiny kraken. Seems like a pretty interesting setup, to be honest. I'm kind of liking it. I'm kind of digging it. Like, basically, you're always purposely trying to be on low ammo. Ah, we need to get through here first. Yeah, I mean, what the hell was I meant to do there? I couldn't blow up the car without without doing that. But I like this idea. I like this idea. Um, Give me that crown again. And he comes into our life and kills a bunch of stuff for us. And we gain a little bit of ammo. We spawn him again. Cracking pistol there. I think I'm okay, thanks. Ah, oh, this character sucks with its HP, man. I try to have a normal normal character with normal HP. I don't want the ammo! Leave me alone, ammo. I want baby Kraken. I want him doing my work. Go, my little friend. So what do I do if I have no ammo? Oh, wait. I get ammo on the next stage, okay. I always get ammo on the next stage, of course. This, this is a, a fun little strategy. I'm wondering how viable this is if you set up for it correctly. And you have a character that isn't poo-poo with his HP. Go, my little friend, go. There's an inverted area over here. I'd rather take that, thanks. Um...
This is kind of an interesting idea. Kills regenerate ammo, but so that my Krakens can regenerate ammo so that we can keep running out of ammo. That's more what I'm thinking. I'm going to die, though, because of this bullshit. Stay away from me. Stop running at me at high speeds. This is a weird one. Oh, do I have to get the kill directly for it to give me ammo back? I don't know. And he dies so soon as well. Okay, so now I'm fucked. So luckily, Blood Gamble will save us. Ooh. Hold up, 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 hold up. Hold up, 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 hold up. Just a second. Right. Good weapon to start with here. Right. Just just blast all the ammo on this. So, this spawns a Kraken, right? Blood Gamble spawns a Kraken! This is fucking awesome! Okay. This is fucking cool. We've got to be, like, empty ammo for it to work. So, can I have two crowns? Is there any way I can have more than one crown? This would work better if I had no crowns. Right, definitely, definitely throw them, but... Right, I'm getting too much ammo here. I mean, killing stuff's fine, but I don't want the ammo right now. It's going to give me lots of ammo when I go through here, though. Yeah. I need something that expends all of its ammo very, very quickly. This isn't really it. Yeah, that... Not great. But I, I've got ideas here. Can, can you stop giving me the default pistol, please? No one wants that when they're randomizing. This crown... Th this strategy might be my favorite discovery ever. There's our boy. Take that for more, more inverted flaws. I need thrown, but again, that's the only thing. <laughs> oh, yes. This is beautiful. Okay. Okay. Um, and then we do alien testing because we're going to be using that a lot. We're going to be using Blood Gamble a lot. Get out of here, you. Get out of here, you. The only thing is that I don't like the fact that it gives me ammo at the end of the floor. I don't want ammo at the end of the floor, game. Is there any way I can stop myself getting ammo drops? Because I, th I think there is a crown to stop getting ammo drops, but that would remove the whole point because I'd have to get rid of the crown I already have, right? At least I think. This might be easier to get rid of all of our ammo on. Um. Let's take that. Ooh, bouncy fat. Bouncy fat might be really good for us.
Go, my beasts, go. This is so fun. <laughs> I need Rhino skin as well so I can do more blood gambles. Because the thing is, I'm gonna just pick up ammo just by living. We're in negative ammo at the minute, which is good for us. Okay, this is... This is awesome. I need better gambles, and I need uh, rhino skin. So therefore, all of these are useless. Um, Gamma Guts might be good. Get rid of all this goddamn ammo. Who needs ammo where we're going? Go, my pretties, go. <laughs> uh, it's just beautiful. Don't know why I took that ammo crate there. Come on, game. Give me what I need. Um, Nothing there that I need, but strong spirit will help. Laser boy. No, thank you. Is that it? I still need th um, a few things to make this pearly paw. How is there still so many enemies left? How big is this goddamn stage? I went through the wrong one anyways. Um, tough shell's probably helpful. Last wish is good too. Take tough shell for now because it's extra HP. Go! <laughs> My children. Feast! Beast on the flesh. Okay. God damn, how, why can't we get what we need here? Um, I think this is probably quite useful, so I'll take it. I'll take explosive on that. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, that's like a new trap, I think. Right, I'm in a really bad spot right now. I need you guys to kill him. If they have not killed him. I'm probably dead. I need that HP. Thank you. They got him. They got him. Whew! This is probably a good weapon to have. To remember these fucking things do insane damage to us. Oh man, this this stage is just so fucked nowadays.
I don't know how he meant to live through all this crap. Right, regular, please. Regular. Um, Dude, it just never gave me what I wanted at all, did it? It just never gave me what I wanted. Oh, it's not even producing my boys. This this weapon doesn't properly go under. I need to get hit. Hit me. I need negative ammo. There you go. Ah, and I finally killed myself. Okay. That has to be one of the most fun builds I've ever seen, but it's very difficult to make work. Basically, so if I, if I just restart, there's no ammo drops. If I could have that, Plus this crown, which I don't know if you can do. I don't know if there's any way to get two crowns. They might be in this mod. If I could have those two and uh, get the right stuff. Do you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do another run just because I think, like, I really think we can make this work. Like, I basically just need throne button stuff to make this work properly. Okay, um, no throne, but here. My client's alive, let's take that. It keeps giving me odd numbered ammo. Really not helpful. Come on, my pretties. Get in there. <laughs> this is... It's just so fun. Having a little army. Still yet to get what I need. I'm gonna take patience here. Oh, that's... I, that's not what I meant to take. I took insomnia rather than patience. Eh, whatever. God, throne butt, finally. Fuck her off, you. You slipped past me, but... I've got to remember that the fucking... The, the, the Kraken guys spawn on the crown, not on me. Which is really inconvenient, because the crown just gets stuck like this look. Like, dude... Crown. Crown. Are you gonna ruin... Okay, there you go. You teleport. It's gonna be good. I don't know if these guys have a certain amount of health or a certain life expectancy, because sometimes they seem to last forever. Yeah, I really wish it didn't give you ammo at the end of the stage as well. I get why it does, because this isn't really the intended use of this, but this is a really fun build that's very wacky. <laughs> Just keep those goddamn ammo drops away from me. Again, I could take the one where pickups fade faster, but I'd need to be able to have two crowns for that to work, and... Dude... Crown! Why is the crown's AI such dog shit? Why is he stuck on this wall? Fucking get over here. The useless goober. Bouncy fat was a good one to take, but I definitely need to look for bouncy fat again. My Kraken army cannot be stopped. Um, boiling veins because we're at low HP seems good. Oh, I've got lots of ammo right now. I don't know why I've got so much ammo. Damn, I'm trying to think of what's, like, some of the best weapons to, like, expend ammo extremely quickly. Ah, that's, that, that's not any quicker, is it?
not any quicker. I need something that's splinter based but fires faster. I think. Um Go with that. Sex supple, okay, that that could be quite good. Oh yes, that's that's gonna be quite good. Yeah, this is quite nice. Give my boy back. This is the sort of weapon we've been waiting on. Now we don't even really need to blood gamble. Yeah, this is this is this is the way. This is the way. Oh my lord. <laughs> this might be the most fun build I've ever found in this game. Well, look at this army that we can create. Then we get a little more ammo, and we come over to enemies, and we fire again. And we take a bit more ammo, and we fire again, and we run out. And just someone's more of these guys, and more of these guys, and more of these guys. <laughs> oh, okay, this is, this is an absolute riot. We take lightning on this bad boy, why not? We make our way through. The, the blood gamble basically just allows us to actually be able to do something if we completely run out of ammo, as in like there's no other ammo drops around sort of thing. It gives us some sort of recourse. The fact that they do their own thing as well, like, they, they can walk away from me and go and kill stuff is, is very, very nice. And the fact that we've got a blood weapon is also helpful, because we're destroying shots as we, uh, as we fire. Um... That's probably pretty good. Get a little bit more going there. Come on, guys, you can do it. A little bit more ammo, lovely. A little bit more ammo, lovely. Come into my web. My web of children. There you go. Started off with three of them. Made it up to four or five. There's a lot more. Maybe another one. Okay, I did take some bad damage there. Some more bad damage. Unfortunately, this is this is the boss that I think we die on. Yeah. 
just too difficult to kill a guy, but that is one of the most interesting builds ever. I will certainly be doing that again. I hope you guys did enjoy, because that was just a hilarious run. I'm definitely going to be taking that crown quite a lot more. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.